a new day, a new age, and a new season for the NASCAR App Cup Series. And you know what this means? We're going to kick off the fifth season of NASCAR IHOP Stop Motion Competition. Every year, 34 hopeful men come to Daytona with one goal in mind, to be part of the championship conversation at Atlanta. Only four will get to realize that dream. Today at Daytona, these drivers, 34 men, get to fight for one of NASCAR's most historic trophies, the Harley J. Earl Trophy. Names like Jeff Gordon, Richard Petty, Dale Jarrett, Ward Burton, Dale Her Dale Sr., Dale Jr. have all graced their names on this famous trophy. Even average guys like Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, oh wait, I complete lie. Kurt Busch, Ryan Newman, Matt Kenseth have all tasted victory here at the Daytona 500. Next on NBC, these fans have been sitting through a fairly long winter without some racing. Now, the sunshine is brought back in the sunshine state. I, how ironic I'm saying that because it's currently raining right now. NBC NASCAR welcomes you to the fifth ev annual NASCAR Out Cup Series season, the Daytona 500. Speed Weeks itself here at Daytona this year has been fairly exciting. Photo finish in the Bud Shootout. And a race that saw numerous crashes in the field essentially be whittled down to six cars which was the fewest cars in an IHOP Cup Series race that have finished a race ever. And there were 23 that started. The duels races were pretty exciting too. Alvin Alonso won the for his first duel the first duel race in a photo finish with the four and a race that was fairly dom dominated fairly by the Fords on Fords, Jacob Tube won the second dual race. Alvin Alonso did win the pole, however. On Saturday, during a final practice session, he got into a wreck with a 43 car, slamming the safer barrier with the left side of his car. He was is okay. Unfortunately, his car was not, and he will have to roll off 31st for the Daytona 500. Reason you see these wet drops on your screen? Oh, yeah, it's currently raining here in Daytona Beach, Florida. There is a storm cell that has been passing through and is staying most of the morning. And it's currently, currently there are air titans dispatched on the racetrack so we can get this race going and going soon. The rain showers are expected to move out by 5 p.m. Eastern, which is where they're guessing. Um that the rain will stop and they can get this track dry. But right now, it is currently raining. The car drivers have the cars covered, so make sure you tune back here for um, 
any potential updates on this weather situation here at the Daytona 500. Let's see if we can interview Dylan Murway here, here, since he will be the new pole sitter for this race when we go green today. He is standing by with Bill, Bill Weber. Bill, he's on the wheel. Sorry, he's standing by with Dave Mearns. And Bill, Dylan Murway is coming in here with a lot of optimism in the cloud he rode from being a championship last season. How crazy was your guys' offseason, and what have you guys done to focus on the year? We partied for about a few days afterwards. I came back to part Colorado. We partied. I partied for a little bit. And then we came back here, here late January or so to do a day of testing with this new package. And with... With the uh, minimized tandem drafting this year, we're going to see a, probably a lot of uh, pack racing, big three, big multi-car packs. So a lot of these guys can't really lock on, lock bumpers very long. Otherwise, their cars are going to get hot. A lot of these... In fact, I was drafting with the uh, 14th. 14 was drafting me Saturday. He blew a motor in uh, the shootout race. Because he was tucked behind me for too long. So our Jimmy John Chevrolet is pretty fast today. Hopefully we'll be able to keep it out front, keep it away from the big one, and keep it away from any trouble and be up there to possibly land ourselves a day 2500. 100 one. Per rule for the new season, for this season, that if you win, you're in the playoffs, and essentially you get a ride till New Hampshire. But these drivers are encouraged to race fairly hard. The new rules for this season starting next week at Las Vegas, Mo- starting Friday at Vegas and qualifying, which is when the Fox Boys take over. Group qualifying. I pull up the rules. Qualifying starting at Vegas. It will be at all racetracks except the, for the Daytona 500. How this works, it's going to be a multi car qualifying session. Also, we've uh, we saw this in use in the Budweiser shootout earlier, earlier in the week. The overtime line sitting in the center of the racetrack, which basically means if the leader gets to the overtime line and there's a wreck, the race is over no matter what. It was previously if a wreck happened, provided it wasn't danger and providing any danger, they would let him race. But if a wreck happens, their caution will come out. Could this possibly play a factor in who decides the Daytona 500 today? I don't know. I mean, as you get later in these restarts, later in the re- restarts, Alan, the race, these guys going to get more aggressive, push more, which has the possibility to lead to some pretty big wrecks. I mean, look back to Saturday. See, right here, the one hit a big shot from the two of Austin Dillon. One of Elliott Sadler and two of Austin Dillon. Dillon Irwin is up here commentating this race with us. With uh, you and BP. Yep. And you see right here, the air just get out the guy loose because they're getting later in the race. This is about six to go. And if you push a guy too far, you'll just turn him into the wall. Which pushing wall, how long these guys can stay in the draft and push and lock bumpers is going to be uh, what det- could possibly determine who wins this year's Daytona 500. How this works for group qualifying. If the track is one and a half miles or bigger and all road courses, they'll have two rounds. Round one will be 34 to 13 positions, and then that'll be a 15-minute time frame. And then round two will be positions 12 through the pole, and that'll be a 10-minute round. For tracks tracks that are one mile or smaller, which includes the short tracks, there are going to be three rounds. Round one will be 25 minutes and set positions 34 through 25. Round two will be 15 minutes and set positions 24 through 13. And round three is going to be set at 10 minutes. And all cars can make multiple attempts at getting their best lap, and there will be 
a 10 minute break between each session to allow these drivers to cool their brakes. And if accident or anything happen, accident happens in the session, the red flag will come out and the red flag will also show the end of the session. While we sit here and wait out this rain, we're going to, as it's getting fairly heavy and doesn't really seem like it wants to let up anytime soon, we're going to show you some footage of yesterday's PowerShares Q, yesterday afternoon's PowerShares QQQ300 on NBC. It will take you to the midway point of this race where Elliot Sadler is currently leading Ty Dillon and Brendan Poole. <laughs> 